okay so guys so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can install four terabyte sata um terabytes to your lenovo legion 5 system so first thing i'm going to do is um, i have to shut this thing down so it's actually shutting down now and i have to lose all the screws um nuts from behind uh, it's actually on all of the edge and also the, from the middle and then some at the back of the laptop so once that's done you have to carefully move from side to side uh, it's actually stuck so you have to pull it from side to side you can use something like uh, a guitar cable to pull it out or you can use your screw but make sure you're careful and then pull it from the side the two left side left to right to from the back so once it's open you can see every part so you can see the um, part where we have to insert the sata um hd uh, sata drive so i have to lose in the four screw holding the um sata drive So this is the SATA hard drive and um, I have to loosen the screw of um, this um, was going to be holding the hard drive so uh, basically there are actually four sides I have to lose it and then pull out the iron so yeah it is so I also have to fix in the flex to this part of the computer there's a part whereby you fix in the flex it's, you guys need to really be careful with this part okay because this flex is really fragile and if it's cut um, you might not be able to get this done anymore so you need to put it carefully sorry i had to use the screw because my it was hard for me to fix it in but finally i was able to um fix it in and then i had to screw the hard drive to the um hinge the that um, stuff that we're holding the hard drive so make sure the part where it's saying sata is actually facing below the laptop like it will be under the laptop and i have to plug it into the hard drive the flex to the hard drive so you can see it where yeah, it's plugged it's just close to where the, the hard drive sits in so i have to put it now so you can see it you can see where the flex is connected to it's actually written hdd so you can actually see it there probably when you're losing your computer you have, you will see this on yours so now i have to screw this to um, the screw that um comes with it so i have to screw all the four edges so everything is actually um sitting close sitting tight so now i have to cover all the four edges make sure um cover the edges put in the um, back cover of the laptop and then put in all the screws um and then put in all the screws so everything will probably be tightened so now um open it and then turn it on let's see how it goes so the screen is actually loading and then switching is still loading up so let me go back to the folder so you can see on PC, you can see there are two storages. You see here, four terabytes has been installed. You can see there's nothing inside, and yeah, you can see it here. And for those of you who are not actually seeing it here, all you need to do. All right, um, and cases where you, after installing the hard drive and you don't find your hard drive here, or you don't see any other local disks here, what you have to do is you go to your profile or to your settings on local disk. Just look at the control panel area and you look you see manage. Click on the manage option, then come down, you see disk management, then click on disk management and you look at the local disk. Every local disk on this system is revealed here. So that your local disk that is not found on your computer will be shown here, but it will not have any alphabet assigned to it. So what you have to do is to assign an alphabet to it. So what do you do? You come down to this point where you see, you find the the size of that disk at this bottom. You find the size of that disk at this bottom. Then you just anyone that doesn't have assignment, that is not assigned to anything, it will be revealed as maybe or unallocated. It will reveal as gray. That's why you see primary color, the blue and the gray. So whichever one that is on the gray will not be assigned and will not be revealed on your local disk computer. So what you have to do is you just come here and right click and go to change drive letter and parts. When you click that, you can click on add. Then 
this point this place will not be highlighted so you just click on assign the following drive letter and click on drive like on this now you can actually unassign it if you want to so but if you're not unassigned so that's if you don't find it 